Hi, this is John Morgan with the latest video tip for 2020 design. How you can manipulate, put invisible lights in, actually be able to judge how the light dispersion is going to appear on your screen and so forth. I'm going to go over here. I'm in the room furniture catalog. I am going to go over to the feature called lighting fixtures. I'm going to go to recess lighting and I'm going to grab a spotlight, drag it and drop it on a floor plan. And then I'm going to move it around. Now, as you move around, you'll see little points will appear. Those are snap points. In order to keep the light from snapping, I hold the control key down and the shift key at the same time, which means I can move it anywhere I want and just place it exactly there. So I just place my light. If you right click, I'm going to go to the up down. So this light is at the top of the ceiling. I'm going to make the light 53 inches off of the floor. Now, that's a problem because I'm going to see a light floating right in front of me. I double click on the light. Is I'll go to variables. I will come over here to properties. And right here where it says display 3D shape, when I click no, my light disappears. I now have an invisible light. So I will have a light source. Light will come out of it, but you won't actually see the light. If you right click on the light and you go to light properties, I can take an individual light and say, let's make it brighter. I'm actually going to make it obnoxiously bright. I'm going to make it 100 watts because I really want you to see how it appears on the screen. One of our trainers actually goes in and adds color to the light because she can see the dispersion pattern better. And then once she sees the pattern that she likes, she'll go ahead and she'll change it back. So if I click on this and say, let's make this light red, where it says profile, you can come down here and you can choose all the different profiles that you want. I want a medium scattered light. I want a, a bollard. Now, if I click OK and we come back out, let's take a quick look at this. I have a little bit of a red light here on this book. And I'm going to go into scene and I'm going to take the lights and I'm going to turn them all the way down. That way we can focus just on the light itself. And if you give it a second, you'll see that it's be able to see the dispersion pattern when it comes to the light. And the book is kind of covering it up. So Let's go back over here for a second. I'm going to click on it and delete the book. And then I'm going to come back in and take a quick look again. This light actually is kind of blocked in the middle, but it ends up and it forms rings on the outside. Now let me give you an example of how the lighting patterns will differ. Let's go back in here again, and I'm going to duplicate this light. So we'll take this light. I'm going to say duplicate. I'm going to place it right here so it's away from that other light. I'm going to go into its up down. So let's make it 53 inches. You right click on it and go to its properties. Choose the first pattern here, which is more of a focused light. Now, if we come back and we look at our countertop, the second light just creates this wide dispersion pattern, whereas the first light was much more focused and creates rings. And then once you decide on the type of lighting that you want, you simply go back, right click, and make that light white in the end. 